Hello there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I got asked by a couple viewers what I was going to bring on vacation with me for art stuff. And um, I always bring some art supplies and I've done a few videos on this. I, it seems like I do one every year. I probably do. So if you're curious about what I brought in previous years on vacation, you can just, I should make a playlist. Maybe I'll do that. If I have my act together, I will have a playlist and I'll have it linked somewhere, either on the screen or in the video description or hey, if I'm really on top of it, both places. Huh? If not, you could just search vacation on my uh, on my YouTube channel. I'm sure you find all those videos. But this year, um, it's not really that that much that different, honestly. Uh, the last few years, I have brought my portable painter. This is the original one. Um, I'll try to link these things down below, but um, uh, you know, hey, I'll try. What can I say? It's like literally a week before I'm leaving from vacation when I'm filming this, and um, and I'm not promising anything because. You know, I'm ready for vacation. I'm feeling like, you know, I'm on my last couple of brain cells and, uh, <laughs> and I don't know, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm not promising, I'll try to, but a portable painter. So this thing here, in case you're not familiar, you probably are if you've followed my channel. This is a little watercolor palette and it comes empty. You put your own paints in there. And the cool thing about this is that the, um, the little case that comes around it actually slides into the end and becomes two water buckets because I prefer to use regular brushes when I paint and have two buckets of water. And even though these aren't very big, um, they still work really well because you've got one bucket for clean water and one for dirty water. And then whatever water bottle I have uh, nearby, I just use that to fill that up because you know, you're outside in the summer, you always have a bottle of water going. Um, so that works out really well. And I just, I actually just filled it, so I'm gonna set this back on my table. Um, the colors I have in here are Quinacridone Rose, Pyrrole Red, Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Hansi Yellow Light, New Gamboge. Um, that green, I, oh gosh, you know what? I don't know what green I have in there now. I think I have, because I think it changed it. Um, I usually have a Sap Green, and I think I have a Thalo Green. Uh, Ultramarine, oh gosh. Yellow ochre, bright sienna, doxazine violet, cobalt, teal, and um, uh, that was actually sap green, but then I put a slice of a Daniel Smith serpentine green in there because I had the phthalo green, which I could mix with the cad, I mean the gamboge, and get a sap green. I thought that would be kind of a fun little granulating treat. Um, so that's what I put in there instead, and I, I am liking it. Uh, so there's that. You can put whatever paints you want in a portable painter. Um, you can even like have other pans and swap them out as you see fit, but that's what I keep because it's such a versatile mixing palette. I can get whatever I want uh, out of that. And um, they recently came up with this little pouch. I think the new the new palettes might come with a pouch. I'm not sure. Um, I got mine quite a few years ago when they first came out. Um, so for accessories here, what I have, I usually keep it pretty minimal because the more I bring, the less I do. I've got a, just a couple little clips. I've got a just a a uh, spool of washi tape I want to use up so I can make borders in my sketchbook if I need to or tape something down if I need to. And I've got a mechanical pencil that is not precious. I think it was from the Dollar Tree, but you can refill it. Um, just in like an HB, you know, 0.7 millimeter or 0.07, 0.07 I guess. Uh, I'm not sure, one or the other. You know what I mean? There's not like both, it's one or the other. So I've got a sawn off um, flat brush I've got a sawn off big round brush. The portable painter has a dual ended brush that is small. Uh, I've got a white gel pen and I've got a black uh, permanent pen. Just a micro, I think it's 0.03. Oh, you know what, that's a 005. I might switch that for a 0.03 because I usually don't use those really, really fine ones. I find they're not really my cup of tea. Um, I also, for media, have this pencil case that has uh, ink tents. Oh, we've got some duplication. I've got uh, my ink tense pencils, the set of 72, and I got my little swatch clipped in there so that I can refer to what they are, what colors are what. And I've also got a set of 36 Prisma colors in there because I really like having my Prisma colors. I've got a craft knife for sharpening. I have, a, excuse me, I've got um, a white gel pen and a black micro on there too. So I guess I don't need to bring both of those. I'll probably just leave the other ones at home because I don't need all that. Uh, so that's handy. It's also handy because I usually have like a, like an adult coloring book too because the kids like to use those. So I usually bring a couple because if it's rainy or, you know, just want some chill out downtime, they're kind of fun. Um, my girls like them. My son doesn't do that much art, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes he does. 
Uh, let's see. I've got uh, three sketchbooks that I'm bringing. I'm bringing my Stillman and Burn. I've been working on this for quite a while. Uh, just random sketches. I usually bring that. I have a smaller one too that I'll bring. I don't have it in here because I just used it last night when I went to. Uh, I went. I love that. I did that sketch on vacation with my daughter Maisie a few years ago. I really like that. 2018. Um, yeah, I have a smaller one of these too. I really like the paper. This is the Stillman and Burn Beta Series Mixed Media Paper. It's not a watercolor paper, but it really takes watercolor well. Uh, so I really recommend that. And then I've got the one that's about half this size. This is the eight and a half by five and a half portrait, and I've got the three and a half by five and a half landscape uh, one, which is really kind of, it's because it's long and skinny, it's really kind of fun. Um, oh, the thing I really also wanted to mention, I mentioned it before, but in case you're new, I like the portable painter because I like to paint in uh, the kayak a lot or a canoe, and I can put that right over my leg, and um, it's very convenient for keeping it steady because the water kind of balances out the weight, and I can paint while I'm leaning back in the kayak and I'm holding my sketchbook, so I like that. I'm also going to bring the Hen Mule Toned Gray and Toned Beige ske sketchbook because I'm going to bring some wash. And I also want to I want to put I want to get some of those pages full. I have so many started sketchbooks that just have a few sketches in them and that's it, or a few paintings in them and that's it. So I'm just going to bring those three. I probably shouldn't even bring that many, but I want to. Uh, I want to finish some sketchbooks. I did finish a few this year that I'd started, you know, they've just been in progress. I have so many sketchbooks in progress because I might want a certain size or a certain paper. Um, you know, because it's not like I want the same paper every time. You know, I'm a complex woman. I want to have different papers for the different moods and the different mediums that I'm using. So that's my story. Uh, I'm going to bring this gouache. This is 24 colors. It's uh, the Himmy gouache. They now come with a white palette. Uh, if I don't have a review on these yet, it will be up shortly on my channel, but um, I like that there's a white palette, plenty of paint, I'm not gonna run out of anything because each of those tubes is, I mean, each of those pots is 30 milliliters, which is like what you have in two standard tubes of gouache. And this came with like three, uh, oh, Excuse me, my nose is running. Um, it came with three brushes, three uh, nylon brushes, and I threw some extras in there. And then I've got my watercolor, a couple bigger watercolor brushes I can use with the gouache that won't hurt them um, if I decide I need something larger. But I don't think I will with the size of the sketchbooks that I'm bringing. I think this is really gonna gonna fit the bill. And I thought it'd be fun to do some uh, some like camp still lifes because you know just to kind of remember the uh, the camp that we rent because I mean my kids are getting bigger I don't know how much longer they're gonna want to go my son will be this will be his last year before he's graduated high school and it's like is he gonna want to go to camp with mom and dad and his sisters next year will the girls still want to go after they graduate like the following year I don't know um, you know and chances are they might have summer jobs where they can't take a week off um, so you know this might be one of the last years we go I don't know it's um, it's kind of sad but I think it'd be fun to maybe capture a few of the things that are that you take for granted just the things that are around the camp that you know you look at just doing some still life with those things I think would be really nice and fun to do in gouache um, I like gouache still lifes a lot and um, yeah, might as well might as well use this I have so many similar boxes of gouache because they've become very popular and um, a lot of viewers have requested reviews and a lot of the companies offer to send reviews to youtubers that um, that do re art reviews, so there you have it. I think that's pretty much it, other than, you know, like I mentioned, a couple adult coloring books for the kids. Uh, well, my kids are teenagers, so they, you know, they're not going to want to work on newsprint coloring books, you know, because adult coloring books are, in case you don't know what adult coloring books and you think there's some, like, you know, dirty coloring books out there, that's not what they are. They are, like, uh, I imagine everybody knows what an adult coloring book is, but it's, like, it's a coloring book that has um, pictures that would be more appealing to an adult to color, such as like realistic flowers and realistic birds and really detailed um, like quilty patterns or mandalas, things like that. So I just, I was like, oh my gosh, people might not know what an adult coloring book is and think it's <laughs> some like, you know, you know, X-rated coloring book. There are those though, so you gotta, <laughs> they, they do make those, <laughs> but, uh, but that's not what I'm bringing. No. Uh, so, yeah. I'm ready for a vacation. I hope you've got some time off this summer. I hope you can take some time um, and enjoy some art making. That's all I have for today. I can't think of anything else to add. So thank you for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.